I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go around again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Okay, so what are we actually doing today? So <laughs> I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this. I, I this is this is going to be a disaster. Okay, this is Season of the Dragons. This was a set of achievements that ArenaNet added to the game in order to keep people not bored while we waited for End of Dragons. It basically involves going through every single Season 2 map, Season 3 map, Season 4 map, and Ice Rood Saga map, playing all of the story, uh, doing all of the content, but look at all this loot. We get a million achievement points for doing this, we get a free Ascended Weapon, we get a Precursor for a Generation 3, we get a 32 slot bag, and of course, we get the Prismatic Champion's Regalia, which is a legendary amulet. My time is precious. And, do you know what we're going to do today? <laughs> I am going to try and finish this in one sitting. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to blast through all of this. We're going to get it done. <laughs> And I will not stop the stream until I have our first legendary, okay, on this account. That's right. We're starting out season two with a bang. We will get our first legendary item on Frugal Fighter day one of season two. So I have completed some of this. I did a bunch of Ice Brood Saga stuff, of course, for Masteries. But there's still plenty to do. I've played through all the story, so... A l look, to be clear, a lot of this is chopping trees, I'm not gonna lie. We basically have to run around chopping a lot of trees, opening a lot of chests, right? So it's not that bad, to be honest. But yeah, it's gonna be pain, right? Uh, this is gonna be a big grind. I mean, we better just get started, let's be honest. Like, we, we, we've just gotta go. We gotta go. I actually really wanna get a Dry Top and Silver Waste out of the way first, because I do not like these maps at all, so let's get in there. Okay, it's time to harvest some ore. I think, I, I seem to recall doing this actually, and the events were actually quite annoying. I couldn't, I, I couldn't seem to find enough events in Dry Top. I felt like that was my problem. Wait, did that event just finish? Or was that, is like, uh, is it underneath somewhere? Oh, it's over here, I think. Let's go, let's complete this event. Some people are saying that there actually isn't enough ore to actually finish it in one go. One, I actually think I've probably hit a few ore. Yeah, I've done 16 out of 50 anyway already in Silver Waste. But more importantly, I'm playing past reset anyway. So it's fine. Okay, there you go. Event done. Nice. I mean, we're off to a good start, if you ask me. Uh, I say this is free. If I want to approximate how long this is going to take me, I think this is going to be approximately 10 hours, I want to say. I want to say 10 hours. Because we have done all the story. Right? The story is completed. How bad can it be? That's all I've got to say. Like, how bad can it possibly be? Now, the big question is, are we going to be able to do all of the chests in one sandstorm. That's like where the real pain is. Do I have enough? I have 88 lockpicks. Okay, so the good news is we do have enough lockpicks to make that happen. That's the good news. That's good. Very nice, very nice. So we're in good shape there. I like how this is actually just a six minute event. The, oh, the core game, man. The core game is so different to the game now. It's unbelievable. Like a random, probably 10 minute event that you can't speed up in any way. Like that just, oh, mm. that is core Guild Wars 2 right there, my friends. Like that is some, oh, classic core Guild Wars 2. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure the gathering is always going to be kind of the bottleneck here, right? Like, the gathering is what we've got to get done. We need to go around this map and hit some rocks. 
It's not too bad on the later maps. I, I do seem to recall that the Are you kidding me? 50 plants in dry top? Are you serious with me right now? See, this is what I'm talking about, guys, okay? Like, why would ArenaNet do this? Why would they say 50 plants? Why would, why would anyone make another human being do this? Easy. Another event locked in. Very nice. Yeah, we're really going to have trouble with this crop harvester, aren't we? Wow. Wait, why is it 50? That's actually so insane. I, I do actually, re I do have a vague, distant, suppressed, repressed memory, right? Of, of uh, how brutal the plant harvesting was here. But where are all of these crops? Seriously, this is wild. We might actually have to bring in my NG, actually, just to get this done. Uh, to go and harvest at the, you know, the that oasis place again. That might be the only way to do this. Because it's actually ridiculous. It's so many. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that. So we do have a sandstorm in uh, nine minutes. I'm expecting to be doing this twice. Uh, because, so here's the deal. This achievement says, 10 buried chests in different areas. Right? We need a key for each. We have 88, so we're fine. But, here's the deal. We also have to do it, uh, in... Oh, no! Are you... Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, no! You have to do the events in, like, a very specific area, right? Ah! Ah! Why is it like this? Seriously. Like, why... Why did they do this, guys? Why did Anet make it like this? I don't understand. You know, sometimes I look at the design decisions that ArenaNet makes and I go, do they hate us? Is this some kind of social experiment? I'm gonna take that supply back. The thing is, I actually don't know what events count. And I'm not sure, does the game indicate it in any way which events actually count? <laughs> I'm not totally sure that it does. I mean, it must be like, um, it must be the different sections of the map, right? Because this was like the first part of the map, and this is like the second part, right? So I feel like this event is going to count, right? For the 1 out of 10. So this is definitely a good one to be doing. Can you imagine a new player trying to figure that out? Who has no idea how that works? <laughs> oh wait, hang on! There's another event! No! We need to leech this. Leech that event. Charge rock. Let's go. Rust bucket. Mr. Bots. You are hitting the cargo. Watch the Mr. Bots. But AK rust bucket. Boom. Rust bucket lifts heavy objects. Ouch. Oh no. We're throwing rocks at it. It's like I'm in terrible pain. That feels bad actually. Entering. Let's go find some. Oh. Oh. Beetles. Gather insect parts. Okay, well that seems like a good event to do. Oh, there we go. We've got the events done on this side of the map, which is nice. So Richie got tier 5 randomly. I like that. That's good. Okay, prepare to hunt down these chests, gamers. Let's go. Alright, Sandstorm. Okay. Let's do this. We've got to find these chests, gang. Oh, there's one. Let's go. That's an immediate... One grab there. Good. Ah. Buried locked chest. Very good. Oh, there's another one. Ha! Ah, see, there we go. Now we're making some good progress here. Very nice. Three have been obtained. Now, bear in mind, we need 30 overall. We need 10 in various different locations. And, of course, by the way, because of the way that ArenaNet designed this achievement, um, the chests in certain areas don't count, right? You need to get them... Th you need to get them in specific areas. Oh, man. Welcome back to vanilla. Wow, guys. Like, this is where... This is where... This is real MMO gaming, okay? Imagine an MMO... Where you have to, where you can, act, where it actually lets you complete the task in a way that makes sense. This is not that MMO, okay? This is not that game. But that's fine. We prefer it this way. We actually embrace the way this game is. Okay, how many chests are we at? We've got 6 out of 10 and 6 out of 10. 
So it would be nice to finish at least one. And but seeing as we have six out of ten, that means that worst case scenario, we just do it on the second pass, which is obviously fine. One out of ten in Challenger Cliffs. All right, we've got to go get these ones here. Challenger, Challenger Cliffs. This is the pain. This is the true pain, guys. Okay. Three out of ten. I think that'll do it. I think we're basically done here for now. I think it is time to go to the Silver Wastes. To the Silver Wastes, my friends. We must go. And then we repeat the process. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right. Okay. Silver Wastes is up next. Let's roll. Yeah, we'll come back and do another Sandstorm later on. Let's go. Silver Wastes. Here we go. I've actually already done the jumping puzzle. So I don't need to do the jumping puzzle. So we've got to do some chopping. We've got to do some mining. That's easy. Let's go. Here we go. Champion Mordrum Beekeeper. You know, Silver Wastes... I think Silver Wastes is very interesting, actually, because it's very much... An, it's unrefined. But Silver Wastes gamers, honestly, formed the foundation for what Heart of Thorns meta events would be. Right? They absolutely did. Like, if you see how these bosses work and you see how the lane mechanic is operating here, like, these ideas, although unrefined, ultimately did shape Guild Wars 2 into what it is today. So it's definitely a very interesting map to think about. Very much an important map in the history of the game. No question about that. Can I somehow leech the other ones? It won't let me in, right? Like, the thing is, I can't go get that other boss. Is there some way I can leech? Maybe with the mount, I can get in somehow. Right, hang on a minute. Let's let's kind of be clever about this. Oh, yeah, it ported me. So let's see. How do we... We need to get the timing right here to see if we can tag this. Let's maybe use the beetle. We can use the beetle to get in here. Yep, got it. Nice. That should have been enough. We got the hit on it. Um, that should actually be enough to tag it because Guild Wars 2's particip um, participation system is ridiculous. Yep, there it is. We actually got the... No, we didn't get the tag, actually. Unlucky. Oh, no, we did. We got the Darkwind. Yeah, we did. We actually did get the tag there. Lo that, by the way, guys, is how um, low the participation requirements are. Yo, Stead, did you see that, bro? I landed one attack and got full credit for the event. I think Stead will like that. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and get these chests because we actually need these anyway uh, for the achievement. We should probably just go and harvest some of them. Oh yeah, woo yeah. Boom. There it is. Locked in, gamers. We just need crop harvester, and we are actually fully done with return to silver wastes. And more or less the second one, too. The second one is also very near to completion. Okay, boom. Chest. Oh, and there it is. That's going to be another section entirely completed. There we go. We're going to get a lot of achievement points from this as well. We get the packed uh, fleet weapon cache again. Another six mystic coins. So we're going to get some value out of this as well. Okay, we're actually done with silver waste. I am out. I'm actually going to quickly check dry top. Someone told me that the plants respawn really fast here. Let's see if they were telling the truth. Oh, they were telling the truth. Nice. Look at that. Hooray, we did it. Okay. And there we go. Look at this progress we're going to make now. Let's go. 23, 23 plants. We're going to have to come back here like every hour just to do this. <laughs> we might as well just finish off dry top. Just burn it. Because we just we can do all the treasure hunting here. And maybe some of the nodes have respawned as well. That would be quite nice. So now we're up to 34 plants. That's very good. We're two hours in, guys. We are two hours in, and we have already nearly completed uh, probably the most annoying part. Oh, ah, ah, woo. Okay, nice. Chest. Chest obtained. Ah, there's one there too. Is where it's really good to have object names on in your settings because they'll show up as yellow. Very helpful in this type of situation. So how much more? Oh, this will, should finish it, right? Yep, ore mining is done. 
So now we just, we need woodland magic. That's done here. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, there's a chest over there. Someone just found that one. There we go. Upland's done. Yes. So just crop harvester. That's one set at the oasis. I don't think it will have respawned now, but I guess I might as well have a look. Probability of that is basically zero, but you never know. And now we need dry top number two. And for that... Oh, we need to get the llamas too. Yeah, so we need the llamas and we need six more treasure hunters there. Okay, right. So, treasure hunting first. Let's go. Repair station. Boom. And there you go. That's it. Dry top two. We just need to find the llamas now. Ah, is that it? Wait. Oh, I don't... Wait. No? Oh. I guess the game doesn't want me to do that. Oh, there it is. Okay, number one. So, number two is going to be Uplands. So, that's over there, basically. Oh, we're in, we're in. That's really good. Okay, good. So, we should be able to pick up this llama very easily, then. Probably no cacti in here, though. Ah, yes, yes. And, yeah, we're being shown where it is here. You have to go right through here. Okay, yeah, and then up we go, and this is where the llama is. Boom, there it is. Easy, so that's return to dry top number two, completed, and 6,000 achievement points, there we go. Uh, Radiant is better, I don't like the health, I don't like fire gear. Two gold, two laurels, large achievement choice, and 1% gold find, lovely. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We get that large achievement chest as well, that's fun. And another bag of Mystic Coins. We're going to get so many achievement points for this, actually. This is going to be so ridiculous, actually. Okay, good. Right, so now all we need is just Crop Harvester. Surely, surely we can make that happen. Oh, it's eight cacti. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. We'll, we'll come back a bit. Let, let, we'll actually, we'll be, we'll be intelligent. Let's go ahead and do what's next. So next is Bloodstone Fen. Okay. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So, well, for a start, let's see if any events are up. We need to go check out um, if the meta is up. Because that's going to be something that is a little bit time geared, I guess. Ah, great. We actually do have the event up. Lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and just get that out of the way first, then. That's probably the way to go. Oh, there's actually a tag here. That's convenient. I mean, I'm also a tag, but still. Right, let's get to work on this. It's actually at the end, too. That's also very nice. And, of course, this will give us some event credit as well. Uh, it's the daily today. That's why. That's what's really helping. I believe it is the daily. And this is actually a great way to get these events done. If you are working on these and you kind of want to have a nice, smooth, relaxing time, just wait until the particular map from Living World Season 3 that you need events for is daily and then just go ahead and do that map then. It makes it way easier because everyone goes for it then. And this, now we're here, we're here on Season 3, you guys are now going to see why I think I can do this in one day. Because you'll be noticing that this goes way faster. Destroy the Jade Bow. And then it's the Unbound Guardian, I think, after this. We joined at just the right moment. Haha! <laughs> Look how everyone's dying. Look at this open world raid experience, my friends. Nice. Guardian down. Mithril mining. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, there's all the cleric events, too, yeah. We have a lot of events. We have a wide variety to choose from. Nice. Woodland management, done. We'll get an event for the exorcism, and then also an event for Hablion, which is going to be very good progress. Nice. Done. Daily Justicar Hablion. Okay, now there's basically one more thing we got to do. we got to go do the diving achievement. Let's go up. Whoa. It's all the way at the top, unsurprisingly. As you might expect. Up. Here we go. There are the diving goggles. Will I make that? I did. Nice. And there's a bunch of events up. We'll do the diving first, I suppose. Here we go. What? What do you have to do here? Um, I think you just have to fall a really long way. Is there somewhere you have to land? I'm not totally sure, actually. Let's see if there is. It should start to become pretty obvious pretty soon. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we are. 
Easy. We have done it. I am the dive master. There's an event here. Finish this. And the speed run begins. 90% done here. Four more events. Man, I'm going to end up rich after this too. I wonder how much the account value is going to go up after this. Oh, they got it. No, I missed the event. That's so tragic. There's probably a bunch of stuff over here though. Events over here. Oh, treasure mushroom. That is an event. That counts. Okay. So let's see if we can destroy this cleric as well. Kill the seekers to halt it. Or throw shards. Okay, let's do that. Boom. Easy. Easy game. I'm not sure. We, do we have enough shards? I guess we do. Yeah, the shield strength is going down. Okay, good. How? <laughs> How did I lose? Oh, and look at that. That's a double event right there. We broke the cleric out and we get to kill the cleric. Ooh, easy. Nice. I think I need one more, right? Okay, there you go. Done. And look. Whoa, I actually didn't, I wasn't even paying attention, but there you go. We actually have the precursor now. Um, we've actually done enough of the achievements that we now have the fragment of prismatic light. There you go. We can get ourselves a free precursor for a, you know, our Gen 3 legendary weapon of our choice. Is that not fantastic? What a, I mean, what a, oh, making some progress here. Season of the Dragons, 10 out of 24. So, you know, we're, we're nearly halfway, right? That's how it works, right? Right, 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 right? Okay, Ember Bay, next. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. There's a tree. Now, if I recall correctly, the gathering here is not that bad. There's a whole bunch of plants over here that we can just go and get immediately. Now, let's see. What events do we need to do here? So, it's 15 crops, 30 uh, logs, so 10 trees, 10 ore. 15 events and Vermingus. So we'll go do Vermingus. Well, that's, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get to work on the gathering. The gathering is definitely the bulk of what we need to be doing here. I'm surprised it only has you do one of the bosses. I wonder why they picked the worm. They picked Vermingus. They were like, you know what? You know what defines Ember Bay? It's Vermingus. Right, worm time. Oh, apparently there is also the pirate captain over here too. I'm going to grab that and then we'll do the worm. Oh, we actually have... Oh, we have that event up as well. So we have the pirate captain. This event is up. So we can leech this event. That will be one event for free. There's also an escort style thing over there. At the same time. Nice. So now we are just on events and Vermingus. Oh boy, 15 events. That's brutal. Uh, Drake is up. Ooh, 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 another event. Right, the worm is probably nearly up at this stage, so we can probably get back in there. Oh, underwater, great. Champion Rock Drake Broodmother. Let's do this. I think I have something like a green trident here, so I'm going to be incredibly effective. And no Aqua Breather. I have no rune on that. That's good. Really optimizing our setup here for underwater combat. Yeah, we are going to have a bit of a problem here with this, uh, with these events. Because there simply aren't that many of them. Molten Dominator. Let's do this. Ha! You know what's funny? I actually remember soloing this guy a lot on my Elementalist, actually. Um, yeah, yeah. I sold this guy a lot on my Ellie when I was doing Aurora. Because I would always, you know, I had to do all the, all, a lot of stuff on this map. Dominating the Dominator. Very good. Oh, nice. There's the Worm event. We actually just got credit for that. So now it's Vermingus. And then we are really close to being done here with Ember Bay. Seven events. We're going to get one here for Vermingus. And then we'll just have to scout around for some other ones. All right, here we go. Now, if I recall correctly, you can actually... It's a bit of a weird event. It's a very weird event. However, um, I think what you can do here is you can actually speed it up by buffing the golem. I think. Where is it, actually? Where is the golem? I can't see it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so what you can do is if you actually give him boons, 
it will actually destroy the worm faster. And also, we can just get in there and attack the golem as well, or the, the worm. And that is what we should do. We should, we should actually just get in there and start DPSing it. Or at least with some of our range attacks. Because obviously the lava is going to mess you up, but you can still get something done. On the worm. If you have some ranged. Destroy it. Okay, now you can beat it down too, because its head kind of smashes in. And now you can hit it. Its hitbox is here now. Dude, Grim is in. He's like, I'm going in. You know what? Let's get in there. I'm good. I'm in too. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm not sure I can really heal, heal this uh, all the way through, though. I mean, I guess we can try. Get in here, guys. Melee this worm. We're taking this worm down. Yep, I guess we can actually just eat this. Nice. Go, go, go. We are going to need stability, though, because the worm is going to CC us. Let's get that going. There we are. Yeah, it looks like we are holding somewhat well, at least. I have to say, I have never done the worm this way. I'm not going to lie, a lot of the time I had to do this worm place solo. <laughs> Welcome to, uh... Because <laughs> what I would actually use to do um, is I would, f I would do all the dailies here in order to uh, get the chests so I could unlock the mastery immediately. Because here's a bit of a fun fact for you. Um, you could actually kind of pre-cast experience for the next master with the next Living World episode because all of the little daily chests here, they give you experience for Heart of Thorns. Uh, I think this is actually one of the reasons why they changed the way experience works. So, like, everything had a different XP type, so you couldn't do that. Because basically what people were able to do is basically kind of cheat the XP grind um, by stocking up on loads of experience beforehand by doing all the dailies. It was very good for raiding because uh, raids had masters attached to them back then, so you kind of wanted to have the XP to instantly get the raid mastery. Okay, the worm is down. Okay, loads of... Wait, I'm trapped inside the worm. Wait, what has happened to me? Wait, no... You, you can't be serious. Okay, I was trapped inside the worm, but it did let me out. Nice. Uh, now, more events. Let's go. Appar I think... Wait, is this guy doing something? Oh, yeah, apparently that guy's found an event. I'm going to go over there. Oh, this event sucks. Okay, let's go. It's An event is an event, game. As simple as that. We got to do what we got to do. Five more events to go. Yeah, all of my skills get perma-interrupted by the lava. Definitely a little unfortunate. But yeah, you've got to stand in exactly the right spot to not get deleted by the lava. This event is a little annoying. Because the problem is, is that you have to break his shield. But I'm not sure... I think the event is going to scale pretty badly and farm us. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get through that shield, to be perfectly honest with you. But you never know. We'll see, I guess. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Because yeah, now it obviously takes no damage. We have to pick up these rocks. Glide up. And throw the rock at him. But I'm pretty sure there will not be enough rocks. Well, actually... Oh, hang on. Maybe there are enough rocks. It's a really weird ability that you have to be gliding to throw it. It's quite unusual. Oh, look, we're actually doing it. Look at that. I guess there's enough people. Nice. Okay, it's not that bad then. We had enough people to make it happen. Return to Ring of Fire when this episode was announced. Yeah, I mean, it was probably one of the more iconic areas uh, in Guild Wars 1, that's for sure. I think season three in general was like that. You know, I actually, you know what the, the one was the most hyped? And this is one that I genuinely can't fathom. It was actually Lake Doric. Everyone went berserk for Lake Doric. It's like, Lake Doric is the best thing ever made. I cannot wait to go to this zone. This zone is going to be so sick. I honestly don't, I'm not getting that one, but people were completely obsessed with it. Like, ah, yes, we will go to a lake. It is time for a lake. Okay, I actually don't need to do the sloth event. That's going to take ages. Uh, I will go to Bitterfrost instead. Because we are done. Now, final event is going to get completed just about now. I think I'll go and finish the gathering in dry top just so we have that done. Uh, just to have it checked off the list. There it is. Return to Ember Bay. Complete. Let's quickly go uh, to dry top because I think the plants will have respawned now at the oasis. Oh, they're not back yet. Unlucky. I guess I came too soon, but that's fine. That is fine. Bitterfrost Frontier coming up. Here we go. All right. Let's get in here. Uh, so what are we doing here? Bitterfrost is events. I need... Oh, uh, we actually might have to wait for nighttime. There's quite a lot of things that happen at nighttime. So we need ore and trees and events. Yeah, that's super easy. Let's go. 
Okay. Yeah, we need to just get a few more trees. Then we're basically done with that. Yeah, we already did the we did the diving there as well on the bitter cold. I was just over there doing the story, so I figured I might as well. Okay. Looks like we need two more trees. Hmm. The storm is clear. Yeah, we actually might want to come back later to do this. We're going to waste a lot of time here. There is another event all the way over there. But I'm not sure if this is actually a very good use of our time currently. Oh, there's actually uh, some stuff over there. So that's the ore done. Great. There's an event here. Let's make that happen. Those events will be ticking away in the background. Oh, yeah. I don't think I have to go anywhere, actually. I think we're fine. I was maybe going to say we'll come back later and do the, the storm event, but there's no need. Good. So now we are just looking at... Oh, dude, 12 events. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is big. Champion Svanir Tyrant. Lake Doric. Yeah, I, Lake Doric might be a little bit slower, actually. We have not done anything on Lake Doric. Yeah, I've done nothing. Oh, dude, the Harathi Sage. This is actually going to be a big make or break moment. That could potentially be a serious problem for this challenge. If that thing doesn't spawn, we are in serious trouble. I feel like our gold per hour is looking good as well. You seeing our gold go up right now? We're actually up 162 gold today. That's pretty good. Yeah, the Mystic Coins are actually really helping with that. And just all the materials we're getting. We're going to get a lot of materials doing this. Think about this, gamers. Season 2 basically done. Season 3, we're halfway through. And then it's just Season 4, Ice Rude Saga. We're going to get a 32 slot bag soon, which in my mind, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, another five completions and we get a 32 slot bag. Nice. Yeah. Ready for corner? I think I've done most of corner because we did the, um, the roller beetle. So I'm a little bit ahead of the curve there. Here we go. That's it. Done. Okay, bit of frost frontier. Job done. We absolutely love to see that. More Mystic Coins in the pocket. Going to delete some of this garbage, which we don't really need. I'm just going to consume the Winter Berries. There we go. Lovely. Lake Doric. Here we come. Okay. Let's zone in and see what we got to do. I'm going to immediately check the Sage, actually. So, why am I so worried about the Sage? Basically, this event is weird. Sometimes it just doesn't spawn for hours and hours and hours and hours. So, that is why I'm worried about it, because it can potentially just be a flat roadblock um, to basically completing all of this stuff. So, that's why I'm worried about it. But, let's see if it's up. I will immediately check and see if it's enabled. Because if it's not enabled, then, well, that kind of sucks. We can get the ore done very easily. I'm just going to go for... Yeah, the plants are where things are going to get probably a bit frustrating. Well, there's an event here, actually. Events are obviously... I mean, so far, events have been a somewhat major bottleneck. However, I think on this map, not so much. Uh, these are pretty easy to get, I think. Good. Or a calcum here. Oh, I've actually done a few events. We're already at 6 out of 15, so I've done a few here at this point. I oh, will have to do the maze. Uh, how do you get there? You have to do it for Aurora, actually. Oh, wait, wait, the Sage is up? Oh, shit! Hang on, we've got to go now. That's actually quite fortunate for us. Yep, it's up, we need to go. This is priority number one. Um, that is very fortunate for us. Nice. Well, I mean, that was easy. Look, you just have to ask nicely, right? That's how it is. You just have to ask nicely, raise the tension a little bit, get the drama going, right? Make it a little exciting. And away you go. The sage just spawns. Here we go. Let's get these earth elemental hands down. Boom. Uh, this one over here. Nice. Good. Let's get these earth callers down. I think the High Sage is vulnerable now. Yeah, he is. We can just take him out. Lovely. Oh, no. It's bad. Okay. Take him down, gamers. Let's do this. That looks bad. I'm not going to stand in that. That also looks bad. I'm not going to stand in that. And there it is. Yes! Nice! That is actually really good. Okay, very happy with that, actually. Getting that done immediately is lovely. Absolutely delectable. Okay, now it's gathering and events. Looking good. 
There's a bunch of mining over here to do. This is going to be a little pain because th these snipers actually really hurt. <laughs> so death is likely here. I'm not going to hang around it too much. It's going to be more trouble than it's worth gathering here. The Sage RNG actually was pretty incredible. Like just uh, to make sure no one, no one thinks I'm being, uh, I'm, I'm being serious about not being a little bit lucky here. That is actually very fortunate. We show off and then it spawns almost immediately. That is really good. There's some more plants there as well. There's actually a lot of stuff here. I, yeah, I guess I was wrong about the gathering. I thought this one was one of the more annoying ones, but actually not so much. There we are. Mining done. Oh, th whew. we're getting a lot of Mystic Coins for this. I'm, I'm really tempted. I think I'm probably going to start saving those Mystic Coins too. Because again, one of the things that's on the agenda relatively early on um, in Season 2, we're going to make Legendaries. Oh, nice. There's actually a Champion Jade Armor up ahead too. Lovely. Oh, man. You know, I kind of... I really miss this kind of gameplay, guys. Do you not miss this? Do you not get a little, in a way, tired of... Of just going around doing meta events all the time? Do you not miss the kind of Living World Season 3 stuff that's a bit more adventurous, right? You're just kind of wandering around, like, having random stuff happen all over the place? I do miss this a little bit. You don't really have that type of design these days, but... I do like some adventure. I hope that the next Guild Wars 2 expansion is adventurous. You know, I want to go on an RPG adventure. That will be quite nice, I think. Season 3 was really good. Season 3 was really good. And it's not nostalgia either. Season 3 was actually just really good. I don't think any... Uh, that's not even a hot take. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. That's a cold take. Season 3 was legit. Right, one more event, and let's get this puzzle thing done then, actually. Let's go and let's go crack on with that. So, reconquer... Where, where is this? Um, oh, it's... Yeah, it's here. It's here in the north. So, we need to talk to this guy, I think. And there is, like, a cave thing. Right, where is he? And I think we have to buy something... Yeah, we have to buy... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've done the heart. That's good. And we have to buy a key off him or something, if I recall correctly. Ah, here we go. Uh, can I take a look? Yes, I can. I expect key to Noran's secret chest. So Lovely. Okay, job done. Let's get to it then. Um, where does it start? Ah, here we go. It starts here. Right, let's go. Ow. Oh, yeah, I see that now. You can see the, the telegraph there. Go through that. Oh shit, dude. The spikes just destroyed me. Fortunately, I can heal myself. I guess I want this torch. Okay. Oh! Easy. Easy game. There's some spikes there. I'll wait for this. Go. Alright. I, I don't think I quite recall the way, but I'm sure I'm vaguely doing it, right? Oh, whoops. I'm blind. I'm not paying attention, guys. What am I doing? We're not on it. We're not on it. We're off it. Oh. Thought I could sneak around. The game says, how about you don't do that? Whoa. Okay, that was bullshit. Okay, how am I not allowed to be sneaky there? Okay, this is clearly the wrong way. Do we have to descend? Feels like we'd want to go down here. Oh. Fortunately, my Jade Bot will save me. Another torch. Okay. Go, 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 go. We have no Jade Bot lifeline now. So if I die now, my team has to carry me. Won't be needed, though. Hey, right, what's going on here, then? It's pro- Yeah, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, we, can we just stability cheese this? Probably, right? Run! Come on, let's go. Easy. And there you go, I think we win. Is that it? Reach the treasure room. I guess this is not the treasure room. It's not over. It's not over, gamers. There's more. Oh, dodge, give me. Oh. Okay, we need some more dodges. Whoa, what is that? Nice teleport to friend right there. Okay, we got some dodge rolls here. Go. 
Okay, this player's going in here. I'm following them. They're clearly a professional gamer. Spooky spiders. I don't have a torch. Hopefully I don't need that. I'm grabbing another one. Boom. Ah, jumping puzzle. So I guess we just have to not fall here. That should be hopefully pretty easy. Right, now the question is, what is the right way here? Oh, oh, we can glide. Nice. Ah, here we go. Uh, this way. Over here. Big. Oh, look at that. Jumping I can do. Jumping, no problem. We have some rocks. I guess Aegis would be good here. There we are. Beware the rocks. Ah! There's the exit portal, and there you go. We did it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Hooray! We did it! Good job, us. Okay, one more event. Ah, and there is an event up somewhere. Okay. And there is some kind of thing. Ooh! <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at that. We are here, guys. Post it to Reddit. Clip it and ship it. We are in AFK Farmer Central. They are here. Wait, can we lure the Jade Bow onto them? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get the Jade Bow on them. We can kill them. We can grief them. There's no way, though. Their minions would win. There's too many of them. There's no- look guys! Look at the- it's getting destroyed! The, it's actually too pow- no, there's no way! There's no way, guys, the boss is gonna lose to those minions! It's actually getting wrecked by the minions! It's not- it's too weak! Seriously, it's way too weak! Yeah, no, there's no way. It, yeah, it, look, it's not even targeting them. The minions will crush it. Yeah, yeah, look, look, it's actually just dying. Like, all the auto attacks and stuff are just killing it. Look, look, it's at, look, look at it. Wow. You can't even grief them. It's too powerful. Insane. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> look, at, look at them all. <laughs> look at them all go. That's actually hilarious. Okay, all right. Next map. I'm just going to use all these recipes to get rid of them. And the karma. And this. Oh, that should make my inventory a little bit less horribly putrid. At least for the time being. Okay. That'll do. I need to go talk to a vendor just to sell the junk items I've got, right? Okay. Draconis Mons. Let's go. This map is fine. Okay. There's just a flat out event immediately. So let's just get onto that instantaneously. Draconis Mons, track it, here we go. Um, 15 events, there's going to be a lot of that. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do the meta, aren't we? Oh, the meta's up, actually. Oh, that's so good. That's basically all of our events in one go. Oh, yes. Because, yeah, we have to do all of these destroyer events. We'll probably get to tag all of them, because this map is pretty quiet, right? There's not going to be a lot of people here. So we're going to tag absolutely everything, uh, all the pre-events, and then we actually get the meta. Yes, 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 yes. That is what I am talking about. That's really nice. We have, we're having a good run here. We're having a good run. We are arriving at the right time. And it's right at the start, too. So we get to do everything. That's the best part about this. Yeah, it's fun. This is definitely one that you might want to wait until it is the, um, the weekly or the daily uh, living story. Because I remember doing this for Aurora... Uh, and I had to solo the entire pre-event on my Tempest. It was actually quite fun, to be honest. Uh, but it did definitely take a while, because there's quite a lot of pre-event. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, you might not find that as entertaining as I did. There's definitely a possibility of that. Okay, good. I'm just going to start mining as well while we're at it. Oh, it looks like the tag is doing the event, so we're not going to get everything, but that's fine. We should get a good chunk of them. Oh no! Oh, it's nearly done! 
Uh, uh, give me, give me, give me. Give me the event. It's mine. Oh, actually, look, I'm actually going to slow down. Oh, oh, okay. My consideration was too slow, and I griefed my team. Feels good. Uh, there's one down, and I think we'll just go do that one. All right, we got that mining. Let's go down. Honestly, you know what? This might be a hot take. This actually might be my favorite map in the game. I think this map is awe-inspiring. I am, I am filled. I am actually filled with joy when I'm on this map. I did, I did Aurora. I got the Druid back piece, guys. And you know what? I liked it. Okay, I enjoyed doing it because the map is amazing. I love all the different biomes here. It looks sick. It's huge. This is a big map, right? Okay, it's huge. The meta event is not that great. It's mediocre at best. But the map is very cool. And this will actually be nearly the end of Season 3. And we have to go... Oh yeah, one thing that is a bit of a meme, we're going to have to do all of the hearts, right, in the next map. But that's fine. That's not that bad. We have to do a lot of events, though. And then Season 3 will be completed. So I've been going now for five hours. I reckon it's going to take me another six hours or so to fully round this out. Maybe more like eight hours. Actually, is it even going to take that long? I'm not sure if it's going to take that long, actually. We're on such pace right now. Okay, gathering time and then jumping puzzle time. And we've made some very good progress. Jungle plants and jungle plants. Look, we're actually up to nearly 200 gold earned. I actually cannot believe this. You know, I would have almost have expected this to be a relatively low gold income stream, guys. But look at the efficiency we're getting out of this. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely absurd. The account value we're generating from this. This is unreal. I think we might... We're probably going to end up with over 300 gold profit. Um, in one day, and we get a legendary amulet. I think that's some pretty high-value stuff. Right, we'll do jumping puzzle, and then after the jumping... Oh, sorry, we'll do the diving here, and then after the diving, we do the jumping puzzle. Come with me, friends. Join us. You can take the thermal tubes here, but I just didn't do that. You know, I, I, I just didn't. I could have done, but I just didn't do it. Okay, ah, now let's see if we can get this in one. I don't know exactly where you need to land here, to be honest, but let's see if we can do it. So we have to land in a, I think you have to go all the way to the bottom, right? And then there's a little, ah, uh, yeah, oh, there it is. Yep, I see it, I see it. There's a little bucket that we have to land in. There we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We should be able to get that. Oh, hooray, did it. Okay, that's done. And then we'll do the jumping puzzle. Here we go. And this time we'll take the correct approach. Oh boy. This is where things are going to get scuffed. I don't, I don't think I really remember how to do this, to be honest. I know it's, it heavily involves using the oak heart thing. I do know that. Can we use the Jade Bot here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, I, I want to try and avoid using my Oakart charges. Because I think you kind of want them a little bit later on. Pretty sure we can make that, right? No? Do we really have to do some memes here? Oh, nice, we made it. Okay. Uh, you know, this one... This jumping puzzle, I'm not a huge fan of because there's a bit of, there's a bit of leap of faithery that kind of has to happen here. Oh, and I think I've already messed up, haven't I? Yeah, you have to oak heart there, don't you? Wait, can we jade bot save ourselves it? No, we can't. No, I've already messed up. This is not good enough. We have already screwed it up, guys. 
So yeah, this is a pretty interesting puzzle because you have to kind of ration your charges, basically, of this little grappling hook that you have. But I believe, I believe we can do it. So do you have to maybe make the glide here? We can make that, that's good. That's really good news, actually. Okay. Yeah, and now we're going to have to do this. And we use our final charge. Yeah, so what you have to do here is what this player is doing. You have to, you have to glide all the way around, I think. So let's go as high as we can. And then you have to go all the way around, I think. I think it's here. Is this good enough? It's good enough. Now, where are we going from here? I'm pretty sure we have to... This is a bit weird to look at, isn't it? We have to climb all the way up here, I think. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, do I need an oak cart thing? Have I messed up, maybe? Not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm trash. What, what the? What? What? What, what, is it want, what do you want from me, game? What do you want from me? Uh, it's slippery. Uh, 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 uh. I think I, you have to jump right at the end there, I guess. Okay. Right. Where are we going now? Do I need another oak cart? I don't have an oak cart. Oh no, guys. I think this is incorrect. Yeah, because we have to go up there. And I don't have a thing. Oh. Yeah, we have to be more efficient. We need to go back again. That's fine. Okay, so where do we need to shoot here? Maybe if we shoot there. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Did, did I need did I need that extra shot? Oh no. Gamers, it may have not been okay to shoot there. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you know, that's just unfortunate. Yeah, I think we do in we may well actually actually is that doable? Yeah, we're in a little bit of a predicament here. Ah, yes, yes. I Yeah, we need to go there, right? Ah, yeah, we're not going to make it then. Well, I guess we have to go back. Okay, now the, now, now the question is, where do we have to go next? Um, I believe we need to go to basically where the plants are. Right, I recall that there's this kind of green area that you need to reach. Nice. Honestly, as soon as I get away from this horrible, weird texture, I'm going to be happy. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Okay, where do we need to go? I'm pretty sure we need to go... Well, I mean, I can kind of see. It's where those lads are. Whoa! Okay, ah, and there it is. Checkpoint obtained. Hell yeah. Hmm, well, someone has an Oakart's essence here. Hmm. Oh, are they going around there? Oh, do you have to, like, leap of faith this? Dude, that is so fucking scuffed, if that's the case. Do you actually have to do that? Oh my god, you do have to do that. That's insane. Nice. And that's what it's all about, guys, is uh, leeching from other people. Okay. So now what are we doing? Hmm. Well, yeah, now we're going to have to climb round again. We're, yeah, we're going to have to try to get back there in two jumps, basically, is what we need to do here. Because then we can climb up to the next... Yeah, because now we're here, then we can climb up. Yeah, there are a few things here. Yeah, I, I think... I think 
technically, yeah, technically speaking, you what you have to do is you have to look at the skeletons and the skeletons point. You can see here the skeleton that's pointing that way. That's supposed to kind of indicate that's where you're supposed to go. Like that's my understanding here. But there are a few situations that are a bit weird. You know, a little, uh, little kind of hard to see what you're actually supposed to do. Well, good news, we can get our another essence here. This seems like what we should do. Oh God, no! This is where things are going to get a little scuffed. Because it's going to be quite difficult to... I think this is quite difficult to predict how to ration this, isn't it? Trust the skeleton, guys. Where are we going now from this position? Up there? Oh, no. Gamers, I just use a charge. I feel like I'm going to get mercilessly punished for that. Where's the gliding position from here? This looks plausible. I think I have a vague recollection of doing this. You have to go right through this fiery area. Uh, I feel like I've scuppered myself though, chat. I've ruined it. Do we have to do a thing here? Oh yeah, we definitely do. Oh, no. And look. Oh, oh, actually, can we get away with this? There's some universe where we can get away with it, I think. We can use the Jade Bot here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Look. Refreshing spring water. Yeah, we're fine. Easy. This is like a promising cave. Or does it? No, it doesn't. It's not a promising cave. This part? Chat? Come on. It's going to be easy. So we have three charges. Now, where do we have to go from here? It's a big question. I'm suspecting that we have to actually go around this corner. Oh, oh, ha, ha, oh, ha, look, 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 look. Check it out. Skeleton. So we're going round. See? People are going up. Do we want to go up? No, oh, I'm going up. Fuck it. I should probably do. This is probably one of those situations where you need to have a very specific amount of height. Okay. Oh, there's another essence up there. So we can just carry ourselves no matter what. Yeah, see? We can get to the essence. Please, thank you. Imagine if I didn't make that. That would have been extremely funny, but extremely tragic. Okay, another spring water completed. We're in the mix. Ah, oh, I sense an inevitable gliding segment coming up. Or maybe not. I think we're actually quite close to the end here. Progress is being made. I think the worst is behind us, gamers. That's my sensation here. We've made it through the challenge. Now it's a clear run to the end. Hmm. Ooh. And this this player does, they clearly know what they're doing. Okay, I'm, I admit, we're getting carried here. This player knows what's up. They are an expert at Searing Ascent. An expert jumping puzzle gamer. Honestly, stuff like this is really good to do with friends. I did Chalice of Tears for the first time ever um, with my guild. It was really cool. I think, funnily enough, we were actually one of the, the first guilds to uh, clear it. It was very... Ooh, nice. It was a very wholesome situation. Maybe there? No? Well, you know, I feel like this is kind of one of those situations where I'm not going to make it at this point, right? Yeah. Nice. Well, I guess we have to go back. 
Can we make it back? Probably can, right? We can make it back. It's alright. A little bit unfortunate there. Hmm. Oh, this isn't good, is it? Hover heal man, try a combat? Yes, there are lots of bugs, my friend. You should not be surprised. Let's just port back, I think. We're gonna have to go on our own on the adventure. Oh, uh, wait, did I go the right way or did I go the wrong way? I think I've gone the wrong way here. This doesn't look good. This looks pretty bad. Do we have to, do we have to go in that hole? Where's the skeleton? I need some more skeletons. I need skeletons to show me the way. Ah, here we go. Now where are we going from here, though? Yeah, I'm a little bit lost, guys. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not lost. I think I've completely gone the wrong way somehow. This does not look right. Oh, what you know? This is right. This is right. Okay. See, I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on. You think I don't know? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what I'm doing. This doesn't look right. This looks pretty bad now. Now I feel like... I think it was good up until that point. Yeah, I think that was... Wait, I mean, is this okay? Uh, maybe this is okay, actually. I don't think it's in there. Well, that wasn't very good, guys. I mean, oh, man. I'm not going to pretend, guys. I have no idea where the fuck I am right now. Um, this is bad. I'm just going to go into the depths and see what happens. Yeah. What's your favorite jumping puzzle? I think my favorite jumping puzzle is Abaddon's Ascent. Ooh, gliding to there, maybe. I am lost, chat. I am nothing. We're going to have to get the thing in one, aren't we? Well, in two, probably. That might be a little challenge. We, re we are really going to need to think about this. Because we need to do this little thing to basically climb up there, right? And we need to get the angle correct here to make it up. This is where we're going to have our problems. Because you bonk. Yeah, this is... Oh, no. Oh, oh man. What are you supposed to do here? Oh, I mean... How does this... What does this actually do? You bonk it and it actually raises you above it. So we actually want to aim as low as possible. I think. Yeah, that was too low. That was too low, guys. It was too low. No! Oh my god. That's really cancerous. Holy shit. And now we have to do that entire segment already, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not so much fun, to be honest. Go. What checkpoint are we on? I think we're on, like, checkpoint number four or something. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Can you just make that with gliding? Almost like you could just make that with gliding, guys. There we are. We make that. Very good. Okay. And now that we just go into this room, then we have to go up to where that green stuff is. And we still have all of our charges left over, so we're going there next. Okay. Oh, boy. Is this going to be another bonk? Ugh, this is looking a bit bonky, is it not? This could be pain. Ah, it is. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, that's so garbage, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say this is good. That's so trash. Uh, what's the way to do this? Um, uh, pff, what do we want to do here? That's a good question. Hmm. We have one shot. We have one shot, gamers. Okay. Okay, made it. Nice. Okay. Let's hope we don't need another one. Oh, are you kidding me? We do. Oh, that's so lame. That is so fucking lame, dude. Unlucky. All right, around we go again. And then looks like we have to go to that green stuff there. Right, we need to be very careful here because we only have one shot. I'm going to try and go pretty high here, I think. And then worst case scenario, we can just glide in. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Ooh. That was a little spooky. There's probably a checkpoint pretty soon. Copium. Copium. Okay. Now the question is, where are we going from here? Are we at the end? Oh, is that it? That might be it, actually, right? Ah, yeah, I think that's it. All right, we did it. Hooray! There we go. Not gonna lie, it wasn't that much fun. Uh, but there it is, I guess. Let's go do some events. Let's go do some events. So for a bit of perspective on where we're at. So on Season of the Dragons, we're 13, but really we're 14 because Dry Top is done. And we're about to be 15 out of 24. Uh, and we've already done Istan. We've done quite a lot here in Season 4. So this is going to absolutely blaze through, in my opinion. As you can see here, it's not going to be too bad whatsoever to get through these. Because I've played on some of the Season 4 maps a little bit. So, look, I told you guys. You know, I'd better do Forging Steel now, hadn't I? Because I actually need um, a group for that. So I need to do all the stuff where I am going... Oh, nice. That was a bit of a high roll, isn't it? It's definitely time for forging steel now. Because otherwise I'll, I won't be able to... Um, I won't be able to get a group for it. So what do we actually have to do? It's return to Eye of the North, right? 20 events in forging steel. Mine a bunch of stuff. Yeah, okay. We're fine then. Oh, we have to chop a lot of trees. Hope we can get 10 trees in one forging steel. That will be a bit unfortunate if we can't. Okay, event done. Draconis Mon's done. A little bit of a break now. Let's go and do Forging Steel, because that's actually... It's the only piece of group content that I'm going to need to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this. We'll make a new group and we'll do Forging Steel. Maybe I have to do it twice. Uh, but I'm going to actually go get the gathering done here as well. Oh, no. Wait, hang on. What's happened? Oh, do, I, do I have to call another character? Oh, are you kidding? Right, let me grab the NG. Okay, let's get some gathering here. And here we go. Boom. Oh, come on, dry top. Get out of here. There it is. Boom. Dry top completed, gamers. That's a really nice one to have locked in. Let's have some fun in forging steel, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although, actually, I can skip one, can't I? Because I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I actually can get cheeky because there is the bonus um, here that I've completed. So I actually can skip any one of these. Right. Okay, gamers, I'm tagged up. Forging Steel Achievement Fun Runs. Let's go. Right. I don't care about any of the events. I'm just going to go do gathering. 
The only thing we care about here is gathering, because I just want to make sure we get it in the minimum number of runs we're going to need here. It might be two runs, but we'll see. I think I got all the nodes so far. So that's the good news. These grubs and mushrooms up. Uh, let's see. Any harvestable things over here? Any gathering things? Ah! Ooh. Very nice. Verdant herbs. Lovely. Yeah, I think we're probably going to do the entire... Oh, hang on a minute. We need to not completely grief here. I, I think we, we are kind of trolling. Hang on, lads. We can't... <laughs> <laughs> if the tank dies, we do lose. So we have to be a little careful. We've got to watch out just a bit. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, then we have this stuff to harvest too. How do we get up there to that mithril? We should probably go and progress the event. That might be what we want to do. Oh, here we are. We're at these portals. Let's take these portals down. Here we go. Take them down. This is actually a defense segment. So in theory, we do actually have some time to just get some free gathering done. I recommend we do that. And this doesn't seem too bad. We're already halfway there. So worst possible case scenario, we're going to have to do this twice. Although we do need some trees. We're a bit behind on the trees currently. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to... Oh, we're actually going to lose. Yeah, we're actually dead. We have Gred. It's over, guys. Look, it's actually over. We have been humiliated. Can we maybe get there in time? We need the scrap metal. I can heal it. Oh. Scrap metal. Hang on. Get it on that thing. There we go. Woo! Not close. Definitely not close. Steel and fire. We did it. Hooray! Well done, team. Always take the 500. Okay. Everyone out, and we'll finish all the gathering bullshit. Okay, we are done here. There it is. Okay, six out of eight on that. And we can probably just do, I guess, Dark Rhyme Delves with the... Well, yeah, just do Dark Rhyme Delves and that will finish the job there. Okay, back to the open world, gamers. We are done here for a bit. I'm going to go and do Sirens Landing. Let's go. Oh, apparently there's an event here. We just got to burn a lot of events here. A lot of harvesting. I haven't played that much on this map, so this is going to take a little bit of time. Okay. We have an event. We need to do all the... Here's the meme. We have to do every single heart on this map as well, which should be okay. I think the events will actually help us out with that. Because we can just spam a bunch of events, and then that will auto-complete the hearts, I think, more or less. I'm going to do gathering while this event is happening. Because I don't want to, I don't want to slack, guys. If we slack, that is how I manage to throw. Right now, I'm feeling extremely confident that we can achieve our goal of getting it done within 12 hours. Uh, but we must not be complacent, my friends. Complacency would be foolish. Very foolish indeed. We must continue our efforts at all costs. One of the fastest zones to finish. Yeah, I don't think this one's too bad. Uh, doesn't seem to be. I just have to do all the hearts, right? Do all the hearts, and then we can open the reliquary. Ah, capture the beast. Let's go. An undead silverback gorilla. All right, it's dead. I'm already moving for the trees. Trees. Boom. Done. Oh, gargantuan grub. Omega grub. Yeah. Oh, this guy wants the grub instead. He's like, oh yeah, man, let's go. Let's capture this grub. Yeah. It's borrowing. Impressive. It's dead. 
Grub down. Okay, good. We're done there. We can go. We, I think we just need events. I'm gonna go to the Lissa area. There's some events up here. Uh, let's see. What can we? What do we have to do here? It's like reclaim, right? I think that will get this thing. These hearts are so weird. They're honestly so weird, guys. This is a very strange, like, set of activities it wants you to do. It's a bit weird. Yeah, this is looking pretty quick though. We're actually very. We're nearly done, uh, aren't we? Yeah, we have eight events already, and we have a whole bunch of these events up already. Destroy the incoming Risen Horror. Let's get it. Oh, and there's another Kingpin here, too. Yeah, this is getting absolutely crushed. We need to do a bit of mining, and then just complete all of the hearts. We can just... I think doing these events will basically finish the hearts, though. Oh, yeah, drop down a poison trail. It, did, it fiery greatsworded us. It stacked all its AoEs. Okay, done. We can go get the kingpin now. Wait, unless it despawned. Oh, no, it's, it's there, actually. Kingpin, here we go. I do need to finish this heart, though. But I think we can just farm all these undead. And that will probably do it. Oh, there's... Wait, there's... Wait, how are there... How are there so many unchained kingpins? What's up with that? Grant's intelligence. I mean, honestly, we could use more of those. Another kingpin. How much... Yeah, we need another five mining nodes. I think that's fine. I think I saw quite a lot in the central part of the map. We're not done with the events yet, anyway. We can do the mining later. After done all the events. Okay, we're done here. Let's go. More shrines. Shrine Gaming. Oh, there's another Kingpin. This is a free event. We're just getting all these free events. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we got here, then? We've got to get rid of this Silverback. And we have our Mithril that we just need here. Here we go. Take it down. Go, 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 go. It's sloth animations. Look at that, guys. It's pounding. We have to finish this heart. I think this is going to be killing a million NPCs. It probably wants me to do something, but I'm going to completely ignore it. A little bit of a spoiler there. That will probably give me some good participation. Yes, it will. Okay, right. Give me that mithril. I actually had a lot of excess Heart of Thorns hero point, uh, mastery points. There's like so many I didn't even get, like the mastery insights. There's like a really free one right there. Okay. Job done. Okay. Oh, lava slug. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, this is just kill a bunch of mercenaries here, I think. Let's do it. Have we did I miss any of these? I think we're basically done, right? I think this is the last heart I have to do. Yep, that's five out of five. So we are officially done. Yeah, it's just going to the Abaddon's Reliquary now, and we're job done. Okay, let's move. It should just let me in now. So what do you gamers think? Is it going to be a high roll? We feeling lucky right now? Or will I get obliterated? I will go for the reroll. I'll pay for the reroll here and see if we can get it. Basically, there's a little uh, kind of gamba game here where you can get some Orion pearls. I think you can win anywhere between... What's the maximum? I don't even know, but it's A number. It's a good thing I actually did it before as well, because it actually kind of requires two days. You can open it twice a day. Um, so, yeah, it's a good thing I already did that. In the name Let of me in. Abaddon, keeper of secrets, open. open. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, here we go. Right, boom. Let's do it. Okay. Oh! 15, that's not that bad. But there you go! A huge milestone in our return to achievements. We have got it done. We managed it. And now we have a really nice upgrade here. A 32 slot bag. My inventory won't be quite as bad, at least for the, well, at least for the time being anyway. So there it is. Big upgrade. Nice. Really making progress there. We are now only one tier away. Eight more segments to complete. And we are completely finished. And we'll have our legendary. There's one thing left to do. So let's do it. Let's go for another reroll. Here we go. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh. 
Wait. What did I get? Oh no. Did I even get anything? Did I just get the, the zero? Did I actually get memed? I actually got obliterated there, guys. I got nothing. I actually got... She scammed me. Actually scammed me. Unbelievable. Okay. Right. Next. Let's do it. Sandswept Isles. Let's rock and roll. So we are done. We are completely done with season... Uh, season three. It is now time for season four. I think it's going to be a lot of bounties here because bounties count as events. Uh, so we'll just be hunting down bounties. So this is going to be quick. These ones are going to be fast. Um, so yeah, this is going to be good.